I'm here with a couple of Coach Matthews players that are in the trenches. To my right is defensive lineman DJ Bryant, and to my left is Roan Babington on the offensive line. We'll start with Roan over here. Got to relive Virginia Tech today. Uh, talk about that last drive when uh, you guys were able to run the football and kill the clock and be able to move the sticks. It was good, um, especially considering we had a young offense, especially on the offensive line, a lot of younger guys on the team. So to actually be able to do that against a team like Virginia Tech, you know, it kind of showed us for the rest of the season that if we really tried to, we could do that. And it's something where I wish I could relive it again because I was so focused on telling everybody else to play one play at a time, you know, just beat your guy, don't think about the ending scenario, that I couldn't actually enjoy the moment. And somebody actually had to tell me when there was four seconds left that we actually won the game. So I wish I could go back and do it again. Being the center and you're known as the vocal leader on the offensive line, how, is, how important is it for the center out of all positions to be the vocal leader? Uh, especially for our offense, it's, it's really important because uh, I have to make all the plays, I mean, all the calls on the field and tell everybody what to do, and especially with the younger guys that we had, and especially the last couple of years, um, just tell them, like, hey, this is what you're doing. And uh, when uh, Brandon Monroe went down last year and we had some younger guys step in, there were a couple times I'm saying, hey, this is the guy you're blocking, actually. And so being able to do that off the field actually translates to doing it on the field, and so they understand what I'm saying. So if I say something really harsh or really short, they understand that I might it's not attack at them, or if I kind of stutter for a second, they know exactly what I'm trying to get out. Talk about transitioning to center last year, your junior year. Was You were previously a guard. You moved to center. What was the transition like? How long did it take you to get comfortable? It wasn't hard. Uh, coach Malone, who's a great coach, he got me situated. We actually had done a lot of work beforehand. The year before, they tried to move me to center, and I was ready for it. So, I mean, it's all thanks to Coach Malone that I, I it was just a nice, smooth trans transition. The offense struggled to put points on the board last season. What did you guys emphasize over the offseason to get ready for this year? Oh, we just need more of a team effort. Uh, we can't quit. We can't get our heads down. And we just got to keep playing one play at a time where if something bad happens, we got to forget about it. We have a great defense to back us up. So we know that other teams are going to have a hard time scoring. And so we just got to keep focused. All right, Roan, and over here with DJ Bryant, defensive end. DJ, let's uh, relive uh, media, uh, Virginia Tech one more time here. Yeah. What did the defense do right that day to be able to, cut, to help out with the victory? Um, you know, we had no mental errors that game. You know, we just played hard and uh, we left it all on the field. We felt like we could play with Virginia Tech and we showed it that day. Talk about some of the players that are coming back on defense that are going to help you out this year. Um, well, every guy's going to help us out. We're returning 10 starters, um, three on the D line. The whole secondary comes back. All the linebackers come back. You know, uh, Vidal Nelson's preseason um, all conference. We got uh, Pat Williams. Stephon Robinson, they're great players. You know, a defensive line, me, Tyler Snow. Um, Jordan Stanton's going to be, he's going to have a breakout year this year. And um, he's going to be pretty good on defense. A lot of construction going on over at Bridge Force Stadium. 25,000 fans are going to be packed in this year. How much energy do you think the, is going to be on the field, especially on crucial situations on the defensive end, like third downs? Um, I, I think it's going to be a lot of energy. You know, it, it was, you barely could hear with 18,000, so now you got 25,000. It's going to be crazy, you know. We have great fans at JMU, and they always support us. And uh, this stadium just shows it that uh, we're, we're going to be pretty good and uh, pretty loud, too. So quarterbacks, watch out. You guys open up with North Carolina this year, another ACC foe. How are the Dukes going to be able to do it again this season? Um, just go out there and play football. You know, um, them guys, they aren't, they aren't different from us. You know, everything they do, we do. Um, it's just the name on their helmet, the name on their jersey, which pretty much doesn't mean anything after last year. You know, showing that um, the CA can play with any team in any league. So we just want to go out there, you know, give it our all and just bring home a W to JMU Nation. All right. Well, DJ, Roan, good luck this season. We'll be looking forward to see you guys playing the new Bridgeforth Stadium.